Working with arrays. There are a number of reasons to use arrays in SAS. First of all, arrays can be used to shorten code. It also can be used when you are repeating the same code over and over again. Arrays can be used with a do and loop. And arrays can also be used to help restructure data more efficiently. So what exactly is an array in SAS? An array is a group of variables, either all numeric or all character. You can't have an array that combines both numeric and character variables. The variables can already exist in the data set, or they can be new variables that are going to be created in the data step. The array itself is defined only for the duration of the data step. You cannot use arrays in procedures. The arrays are used for processing data more efficiently. So to define an array, you need to use an array statement, which begins with the keyword array, followed by a name that is given to the array. So the array has a name. And then in parentheses, you are going to list the number of variables that are going to be in your array. So if you want to have an array of 10 variables, then that n in parentheses is going to have to be 10. If your array is an array made up of character variables, you will need to include a dollar sign in the array statement. And then lastly, you will need to give a list of the variables that are going to be in your array. And those variables can be new variables that you plan on creating, or they can be variables that are already on your data set. And most importantly, the list of variables that you give must equal the number that's in the parentheses. So if you say that there are going to be 10 variables in your array, you need to include a list of 10 variables in the array statement. So let's take a look at an example. So we are first defining an array called weight pound that has three variables or elements with weight and pounds. And the variables are called weight 1, weight 2, and weight 3. And these are variables that already exist on our data set. We are then going to define a similar array called weight kilogram, or WTKG, that will contain three new variables that have yet to be defined. And these variables will contain the corresponding weight values in kilograms. Our do loop will loop three times once for each of the weight variables. The word following the do creates a variable called index that takes on the values 1, 2, and 3, incrementing by 1 each time the loop executes. The loop ends after the third iteration. So index is actually going to be a variable that will be on your output data set. The first time through the loop, index will be equal to 1. The next statement will take the first variable in the array weight kilogram, which is actually the variable new weight 1, and assign it the value of the first variable in the array weight pound, which is variable weight 1, divided by 2.2. When the end statement is reached, the loop will start over for index equals 2 and this will continue three times. And so this do loop is doing exactly what's being done using the code at the bottom of the slide, where we have new weight 1 equals weight 1 divided by 2.2, new weight 2 equals weight 2 divided by 2.2, new weight 3 equals weight 3 divided by 2.2. So this do loop is replacing this code here. And again, if we had 100 weights that we needed to recode, it would be much more efficient to do that recoding using arrays and the do and loop. Now view the SAS demonstration programs intro array and more arrays.